chat, how are we feeling? On the Queen's birthday? And gentle beehive. Oh, oh, it is the Queen Bee's 43rd birthday. And it only makes sense to finally dive into the album that signifies the birth of the Virgo Queen, Bee Day. Can we have some hands? I know a lot of people on Patreon have said that they want a, a Blackest King reaction. We're definitely gonna get into that as well as the visual album as well. But today, it is just too perfect of an opportunity. Why not, dude? I mean, dude, I'll, I'll be real. I kind of hate my birthday. I kind of have always felt this way about my birthday where I don't really like it because so many people's birthdays are all around it. I want the attention on me and I guess that just, yes, that does kind of make me a Virgo, I know. Hopefully, listening to this album from another Virgo in celebration of their own birthday will make me finally fall in love with my own. I am so excited, dude. I think this is like, what, my fifth Beyonce album? Alicia says that B-Day is her top three Beyonce albums. See, that's interesting because whenever I feel like I do see the Beyonce albums ranked online, I feel like I see B-Day on the lower end. So that just kind of like a little bit worries me. Most of the Hive love B-Day, but the discography is so packed, it ends up kind of being on the lower end. Mmm. That makes sense. First, we're gonna start off with today. I mean, the original album run is 11 tracks. I think we're gonna be listening to a total of 13, 12 or 13 today. 41 minutes, 30 seconds, B day. Well, it's funny you say that Deja Vu is the best pop song ever because that is exactly what we're gonna be starting with today from B day. Let's check it out. Bass. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I was about to say, I bet Jay-Z is gonna come in with some kind of Ha! Like, I, I could just see it coming. Uh, okay, another element. 808. Ooh, 808! Uh -huh. He's an instrument. Me and B. Peeking through. See these chords? So much suspense. That's so Stevie. Oh, that. Now she's with the drums. And it's so stabby like that. And then in the last time she says deja vu, it's. Oh, I love that. She's playing around the percussion with her flow. And then when she gets on top of it, that's where she makes the chorus. Dude, she introduced every single part of the song that really comes in here, other than the horns. She didn't say horns, but like pretty much introduced everything. So we know our ear is like actually tuned into what is going on in the back. That's so cool. I don't make yeah. this, don't be mad at me. I just make the hits like a factory. I'm just one to one, nothing after me. No deja vu, just me and my own. Baby, Damn. Yeah, dude. Ooh, she's up that octave. Ooh. Oh my god. I just realized. Gosh, she sounds so young. How old? Wait, how old was she when she made this? Wait, 2006. Wait, she just turned 43. 2024. 18, 18 years ago. Oh shit, hold on, I can do this. 18 from 43. Don't tell me, I'm not looking at chat. I'm not looking at chat. Twenty-five? Twenty-five, dude. Shut shut up, dude. Okay, shut up. Oh! Oh, dude, that's so catchy. Oh my God. No wonder she introduced bass first. She's like, this is what you need to listen to first. 
I'll be real, the first time my production ear just immediately goes to the drums. Like they're very loud, they're in your face, they're right here. And Beyonce's vocal is a little bit, I don't know, it's a little bit taken back a little bit. I also have to remind myself that this is, this is an album that was produced in 2006. So yeah, this, technology has changed a little bit. So adjusting the expectations. Get me bodied extended mix. Get me bodied. I feel like this is like what people used to say in 2006 when they were like playing Call of Duty. Oh my God! Planet. Nine. Four. Eight. Countdown? One. Whoa, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. These numbers I need to be paying attention to? Four. Oh, oh, that's her birthday. Eight. Eight, one. Okay. One. Got you. I thought we were up. Yeah. I'm done. Oh, this is so hype, dude. Oh, the little chromatic vocals. Okay. Wait, she wants to get body like she wants to be somebody's body. When people ask how many bodies they have, it means how many people they had sex with. Yeah, this is a full-on dance tune, bro. What? God, that's crazy range. Holy hell. I really like it when she hits the chords. Even with this beat, how like kind of repetitive and the same it is the entire time. She's like, no, 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 no. We have to have some chord structure in here. I have to have some kind of like B section so that I can create this kind of feeling of like progression through the song. That's Beyonce. That's 100% Beyonce. It's all done with her vocals. Oh yeah, she Yeah, she yelling, man. <laughs> Bro, she's up there. That is chest throat voice. Oh my god. I feel so bad for the live male background singers. I hope they had like a loop for them because if you can just imagine like a six minute song and your whole job is just, hey, I'm, yeah, no, I might, I might end it. You want my body? You want my body? Wait a minute, that's like early, early single ladies coded. Uh uh. Oh wow. I was like, what do the uh oh? I'm like, uh, oops. In Crazy in Love. Okay. See, being from Atlanta, I feel like that's like one thing that like, I'm never allowed to do this in like, other than any context of just listening to Beyonce. As a Caucasian, Atlantean, it's crazy. But damn it, you know, when you're when you're listening to it and you're like four minutes in, you're like, yeah, I guess I'm gonna fucking pat my weave. I like, dude, I, Beyonce was controlling me in the moment. Now tick, 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 fight. Now pose for the camera now, flick, 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 Pose for the camera now, flick, 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 Drop to your knees, watch your back, girl. Hey. 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 Hey.
think I feel like I let you guys down on that one. I listen to me, many of you right now. Life got you up against the road. You can't give up. You can't give in. Listen to me. If it was easy, everybody would do it. Mm. Back down, never never give up. Next song is Sugar Sugar Mama. Sorry. God, I'm so white. Damn, that was so good. I want to buy him a short set. Oh my God. Buy him a what? Oh, the guitar. Holy shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, damn, that was so good. I want to buy him a short set. Like a, like a set of shorts. Oh! I'm sorry. What an incredible line for Jolly Rancher. If I worked at, like Jolly Rancher and I was a Beyonce fan, I, I feel like I would have been assembly line. I'm the taste tester in Vera Belt. I'm sorry, Star. Ooh, I like that mama vocal. Oh, dude, the instrumental. Oh, oh, those, oh, those vocal stacks. Oh, it's so bluesy. Oh, I love it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She got money to spend. New whip, heavy on the wrist. Sit on the lap. Santa Claus. Okay. Oh, I love that. Oh, the way that those vocals come in in the chorus, the way they kind of build up on each other in the harmonies, oh, that's satisfying as heck. It's that two chord change too. Yeah, I bet the live musicians love this one. Ooh, got you on the taxes. That's real. Dude, she is, it's so funny, cause like by this point in what I know Beyonce for, it's all these incredibly wonderfully placed, uh, satisfying runny ad libs, right? And it's these super strong, catchy chorus melodies that just keep you coming back for more. And the fact that we're getting both of those and both of them are just so loud in the mix, I'm like, Oh my God. See, this is what I love though about Beyonce because as you hear this and it's a little bit of ear overload, you know, to be honest with you, but reading through the lyrics, you can kind of like piece together like another storyline that she's kind of like creating through the ad libs. I give you all my money, baby. Turn me out, boy, something crazy. Take my credit cards. Here's my house. Take my car. Don't forget to give mama some sugar. And the way she's saying it, the way that she's kind of yelling at him, it's, it's just, I don't know. It just paints a picture where it's like two different entities is happening at the same time. It's really cool. Oh, that guitar is spicy, man. Wow, that's good. Chuck Middleton. Okay, is there a sample in here? I feel like there could be a sample in here because I'm looking at the production from Rich Harrison as well as Beyonce. It does sound so archaically familiar. It it could be a sample. A sample is a song called Searching for Soul. Ah, okay. Yeah. Tight. Oh yeah, I know that's fun as hell. Oh, that's so that's so cool. I mean, God, Beyonce, the damn blues singer, you know, doing very well over like a one four five progression. I love that one. That was a dinger, one hundred percent. The next one is Upgrade, Upgrade You, featuring Jay Z. Is he saying that he upgraded her? I don't know, dude. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> this is loud as hell. <laughs> okay. Oh, let her upgrade him. Mm. You know I used to beat that block. Now I bees the block. I bees the block. It just feels like he's cracking like a dad joke in the beginning of the of the song. I hear you beat a block, but I'm the life to keep the streets on. No, this true the type that likes to keep them on the leash, though. I'm known to walk alone, but I'm alone for a reason. Sending me a drink ain't appeasing. Believe me, come hide. This won't be easy, don't doubt yourself. What do you mean? You need a real woman in your life. Taking care of home and still fly. Still fly. Ooh, she 
has her own money. Ooh. Oh, that snare, dude. That snare work. And then the clap coming in. That's tight. Ooh, with the whistle. High knees. High knees. My god, this is a step team ass song, bro. Holy shit. I can do for you what Martin did for the people. Ran by the man, but the women keep the tempo. It's very seldom that you're blessed to find your equals. To play my part and let you take the lead, bro. Believe me. That's a bar. I'm not crazy about the horns in the back, the kind of tone they have, but it's fine though. The main focus is the 808s and the snares and, and Beyonce, so it's it's okay. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The boy who infiltrated all the corporate dudes. They call shots, I call audibles. Shake up the. Then your dynasty ain't complete without a chief. Oh, I love the little woo. Hermes briefcase, Cartier top clips, silk line blazers, diamond cool facials, BBS cufflinks, six star pimp tweets, finally let me upgrade you, upgrade you. Hold up, she's saying an AP, dimples on the necktie. Hermes briefcase, Cartier top clips, silk line blazers, diamond creamed facials. What is a diamond creamed facial? You ever heard of a diamond creamed facial? Okay, yeah, maybe we are just too poor. I do want to say it's very cool how they're kind of having a moment on the album where they're acknowledging that both of them are fucking dope, dude. I think that that level of confidence with your partner is just kind of iconic. I, I truly do love that they've stuck around uh, together for as long as they have, so. That's a good marriage, baby. That's a good marriage, man. Anyways, next song, Ring the Alarm. U.S. Navy. Oh! Damn! Whoa! She's so mad! The energy switched up! All the people who are talking about how loud this album is and it's got a goddamn siren as the main like repeating part of the loop of this beat like yeah you know I <laughs> Dude with the speaker there's got to be like a loudest moments compilation of this album there's got to be dude Was she wrong? Was she wrong though? That's the other thing that I kept only just for you. Why would you risk it, babe? Is that the price that I Why would you risk it? <laughs> She's like, no, 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 no. I'm gonna kill you if you leave me though. You're not gonna make it out of this thing. <laughs> and here we go, we're back at it. Loud as shit. God, and that last snare was... <sighs> it's feeling like we're like about halfway through the party. It's loud, I need to step outside. I'm overstimulated. Like, I know I'm having a good time, but my body is like, hey, if you wanna survive, get to somewhere where you cannot hear anything at all. Kitty Cat is the next one, uh, which is dope. I love my little kitty cats, boys. Ooh. You know I Oh, the synth. But you said that you would soon be home. But baby, that was a long time ago. Oh. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. On top Whoa. Of you not calling me back. You see, I bet you think it's all on track. Ah. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Those harm. Oh, those harmonics that are getting hit. I don't know if that's a bass hitting those. Holy shit. Dude, if y'all could see my feet, I'm hitting this like little. Hello, my baby. Oh my god, and that melody, holy shit. I can just tell you right now. I can just tell you right now. 
Pharrell! I just realized, uh. Go little kitty cat. We had two places with different paces. We in trouble, but you want me be at the bridge. It hurts. Oh, at the bridge? Like in the song? Forget where my body, body. You don't want my body, body. You don't want my body, body. Like I can look nobody. You will make me call somebody. What about my body, body? What about my body, body? You would rather go to parties somewhere. She was pregnant with Doja Cat here. Insane. Keep straight and you'll see the sun right there. Affection in the wrong direction. If I get caught, see it just seems that you don't care. Those flowy ad packing. And these ad libs. How many? Oh, she's so locked into. Come on. Come on, halfway. Halfway through each song, I'm like, all right, now it's time to listen to like Beyonce vocals. It's like she hits halfway through like every one of these songs and now it's just like, all right, it's ad lib time. What is a nookie? Shit. Wow. Ate the fuck down. Oh my god. Pharrell. Oh. <sighs> the next song is Free Come Dress. Oh my god, the whistle. <laughs> Hold up. Bring the beat back. Oh. Stop. I ain't ready yet. Wait, I thought you. <laughs> Let me fix my hair. Yes, yes. Yes, me, yes, me. I'm gonna pass me my dress. Yes. I think I'm ready. Been locked up in the house. Beyonce! Dude, they got two Kia Volkswagens hitting horns as the background for this song. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. Dude, that's crazy. Not beating the loud allegations. What is this intro? Bring it back. Stop. I ain't ready yet. Wait, let me fix my hair. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's actually incredible. How is that not a TikTok trend? Wait, let me fix my hair. Yes. That's yes. so funny. Start the song. Nah. Wait, is it a real dress? Really? I'm sorry, I have to do research. How, how can I not do a freakum dress? Is it this? Okay, short and backless. Okay. It's so loud, bro. She's got her freakum dress on, dude. Of course she's gonna go off. It is loud, though. Oh, wait. I recognize that. That, dude, that's crazy. Shut up, you. 
Oh, wow. The pentatonic in there. I'm leaving this album with a bunch of questions, dude. Now I want to know if Angela has a freakum dress. Hey, babe. I love you more than anything, so tonight I just want you to go find your favorite freakum dress. I've been told every woman has one, so I'd love to see you in yours. <laughs> Angela just comes out in like full religious attire. All right, honey, here I am. What? That's your freakum dress? I thought you said deacon dress. Oh, babe. No, I said freakum dress, like the Beyonce reference. God. Well, I guess I'll go put on my little boy outfit. Whoa. That's fucked up. Uh, we got to get into the next song. Green light. Give it to mama. Give it, give it. It's really heavy. All the perks. That bass. Uh. Oh. oh, I love the uh -huh. A little chiller. Okay, where are we going? <laughs> Ooh, the attitude in the backing harmonies. Is that just all her, or do you think there's actually other backing vocalists? Because I know she just, or before this album came out, she had just finished with Dream Girls. So I wonder if that had influenced her in the way of how she approached the album. Dream Girls has a lot of soft singing, and she wanted to, she wanted to get loud again. Let's get loud! Oh hell yeah! Okay, okay, I get that. I like the A part more than the B part. Ooh, reverse on the bass. I love that. Go. 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 It is repetitive, but it fits the theme. Because with the, you go with the green light. Ooh. Oh, the Spanish guitar. This nylon string. We get a little Spanish. Oh, and the single horn. What is that? Is that a trombone? Okay, man. Yeah, I like it. It's funkier and, and cleaner than some of the other ones that like we kind of hit. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Dude, that's actually so epic. The fact that she dropped an album on her birthday and the album is just full of like, this is who I am. Now, this is how I'm going to carry myself. This is like my whole attitude. Yes, it's loud. It's in your face. It's unapologetic. It's touching the kind of confidence that we see nowadays, I feel like, with the rest of the discography. But it's nice to kind of see it in like a form where it's just starting to kind of like cultivate like an energy. This was her second... This was her so wait, this was her sophomore album? Dangerously in Love was the first album? All right. Wow, that context is actually super important. I feel like I'm getting more and more in touch with what she was trying to do. The next song is Irreplaceable. It has 621 million streams. The biggest stream song off this album. So I'm, I'm guessing that was a, a huge single. Do I know this song? Is this gonna be one of the songs where I'm like, ah, ah. Am I gonna know this one, guys? She only invented left. I didn't know the name. I just didn't know. All, I mean, yeah, everything you own in the back to the left. Yeah, irreplaceable. To the left, to the left. To the left, to the left. Yes, ma'am. Everything you own in the box to the left. In the, the closet. closet. That's my stuff. Yes, if I bought it, please don't touch. Don't touch. It's my name. It's on that bag. It's my name. Oh. oh, dude, this is a whole visual. Oh. Switch up those chords. She 
already got a new man. That's crazy. This is her like completely just like, you must not know about me. You must not. While she's throwing this shit into a giant fire. You must not know about me. You must not know about me. You're not! Oh, wow, you're not irreplaceable. What a twist. You think it's gonna be a love song, but no, it's a, oh. You really thought. Because she wasn't true, rolling her around in the car that I bought you. The car I bought you! Hurry up before your taxi leaves. Dude, I love she. <laughs> She mentions her car that she bought and then also mentions the car that he will very much be in. A cab or a taxi. You do not have your own car. <laughs> and now she belts him. Dude, that's incredible, man. The journey, oh wow, oh dude, I completely forgot about those ending vocals for the bat last part. Dude, that's the way that she sets the expectation in like the early choruses where she hits the part in the chorus, the highest notes with her falsetto, like her head voice. And then it's like, oh, you think that's kind of like the highest she can get. And then in the back half of the song, she's just chest voice belting the entire chorus going higher than those notes even. Wild, dude. I do truly, I understand why there is a difference between singers and singers. She's saying it. She is saying it. It's different. You can hear it. You can hear the artistry in it. Okay, let's go resentment. Should I sit down? Oh. Oh, oh the vocals. Then I'll be alright. But now everything you told me. Don't oh, she knew something was off. Because you lied, I only give you a hard time. That dry kit. I can't go on and pretend like I oh, yeah. tried to forget yeah. this. But I'm much too full Woo. of resentment. Oh, that's sad, man. Can't seem to get over the way you Ooh. hurt me. Don't know oh. how you gave another who me. Oh man, I love the blues, dude. Oh, and it's got that little gospel flair. And I know you. Oh, that seven. Is that a harmonica? Dude, is it bad that I feel like I need like to hear like a like a person in the ear just be going two, six, four? <laughs> it really is like you're back in church. Wow. Oh. 
was here first. Been I was here first. Six years. Why did I Six years. Six years. Be treated this way by you. You. What did you do to me? Dude, this is just a little taste of lemonade. Yeah, her kids. Oh, this is a cover? Oh, man. Dude, I love that Beyonce does that, first of all. But the fact that she does cover this, and it does feel like it has an entire storyline to it, where she feels like she's coming of age, she's coming into her own. With her man, Jay-Z, talking about wanting to get bodied, being a sugar mama, because she makes a lot of money, right? To kitty cat, all the sexual horniness and whatnot. And then into the, the betrayal, and like the go, like just go with the green light and the irreplaceable, and now we get resentment. Like, dude, even if it is a cover. I love that she was able to do that with an album. It's so important in being an album artist. Really good. All right, we're going on the last official song of the original release, Check On It, featuring Bun B and Slim Thug. Let's, I guess let's check on it. You need to stop playing around with all the clowns and the wanksters. Good girls gotta get down with the gangsters. Oh my God. Oh my God. Check up on it. That just means looking at her butt. You can look at it as long as you don't grab it. If you don't go grab it, I'ma let you have it. She's setting the boundaries. Reason, but I ain't got no reason. It's important. She stays there. And then she resolves. Yeah, it's all about her butt. I can understand her maybe like growing out of this song. It's a classic. You hit a really, really like iconic kind of like flow in there with the checkup on it part. But yeah, you know. I know you want it. Dude, that's cool how they... They just have two chords. It's two chords pretty much the entire time. Dude, this production is really cool. Oh, I love that repetition for the 808s towards the end. It finishes off the song so beautifully. I feel like resentment would have been a little bit stronger of an ending. If she went into the album fully thinking like, hey, I'm gonna make like a whole like me empowerment in my bag for 25 years old. I'm a new woman. I get it why it, it's kind of like a party all the way through. And then at the end, yeah, you kind of need to like. Check on me the night. Okay, so now we're getting into the deluxe songs. And the first one is Beautiful Liar. This is with Shakira? Wait, what? Oh no. Zagira, Zagira. I gotta, oh dude, I gotta, I gotta warm up. Doing my hip thrusts. Warming up the hips. Okay, beautiful liar. Both in the verse. Hey, she's letting Shakira have that flow. Why are we the ones who suffer? Have to let go. Oh, this is a real duet. Ooh, the eye. Ooh. Oh, there she is. Shakira. Wow, her vibrato was really good. Dude, the choreography probably pops off. Oh my god. Ooh, the harmonies! Oh! Video, yellow tint. 
I'm sorry. Ooh. Boy, you play that fiddle good. I like the fiddle solo. names in there, dude. Hey. It's not worth the drama. Did they do a lot of wrist work in the choreo for that part? Yeah, dude, we might have to hit some music videos today. I've been shaking it, but I can only do it so good. I need a little bit of direction. Okay, flaws and all. I'm a train wreck in the morning. A little harp? I'm a bitch in the afternoon. No, surely not. You need a nap. And all the pieces aren't even in the box. The vinyl crackle is a bit much. You see the picture clear as day. I don't know why you love me. Oh. And that's why I love you. Oh, the guitar. The acoustic. I love that. Star. Now I know why you wanted to show me this one. Okay. Oh man. I wonder if that's a real guitar or if that's a VST because the way that it slides so perfectly into all of those notes makes me feel that it might actually be a VST like it's being played on like a keyboard or some kind of synthesizer. And that kit. I like that you can feel like the drum kits throughout each of the songs in the album, like feel like they're in different rooms. Like they feel like they have different tones and different textures to them. It's really cool. It's a really powerful way to switch up the vibe of the song, even more in my opinion than like sometimes you can do with like tempo, just having that different drum aesthetic. Oh, powerful. You catch me when I fall, me flaws and all. She is yelling over this acoustic though, for sure. <laughs> It's almost still evil, still untrustworthy. Oh man. Denial. She's trying to convince herself in the song a little bit. Oh man. Oh yeah, no, I do like that one, dude. It doesn't hit like as hard as maybe like the vibe on the original album hits, but still interesting to kind of hear that one in between maybe like some of the middle parts of the album. Maybe before green light, we could get that. And she kind of just tells him to get the heck out of there. Cool, man, cool. I'm gonna sit down. Virgos, let's come together for one last song. Listen. Listen. I told you I was about to do it. To the song here in my heart A melody I start But can't complete As she sings a melody Listen Oh, the time has come oh. For my dreams to be heard They Face. will not be pushed aside and turned Into your own All cause you won't listen That's so good, dude. Oh, that's so incredible. There someone I thought had died so oh. long ago. Oh, I'm free now. They will not be <laughs> Filipino is loving this. Into your own, all cause you won't listen. Mega platinum in, in Filipino households everywhere. 
That karaoke seems broken on this song. That, that suspended, that little chromatic suspension. Holy shit! Oh my god! Whoa! Am I in the same world right now? Dude, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please go on Patreon and vote for the Dream Girls. I would love to do it. Oh, wow. I'm just imagining that that's probably towards like the back half of it. You know, she's been through some shit and she's just trying to listen to her heart and, and, and sing. God damn. I don't know what to say. I guess that's just gonna be a wrap for us today on B-Day from Beyonce. Thank you so much if you made it this far. Don't forget to like and subscribe you know it's it's free you can always take it back and also if you missed any part of the stream gonna be up on patreon afterwards as well so go ahead and you know check that over there you get access to our private discord it's five bucks a month you get to vote on stuff that we do on the patreon and stuff that we do here on stream as well we are gonna watch music videos as well right now but that'll have to be on patreon only because youtube doesn't play very nice with the music videos gonna be writing a review on this on aoty so be sure to follow me over there as well as all my other social media but as always stay happy healthy and strong and i'll see you in the next one